Welcome back to Sam's Fitness TV. Today I'm going to show you the latest in the ATX lineup, the BPR 790 combination leg press hack squat. Now we're very lucky in Australia, we're the first to receive this in the world. And for the last three weeks, we've been giving it a, a good going over. Um, not just ourselves, but you know, many of our customers have come in and tried it. And we all agree that this is definitely a step up from the 780 model, which was a great leg press. It was uh, very heavy duty, very smooth, but ATX has really outdone themselves with this new version and they've made it even better compared to the the old model you are getting a lot more for your money i mean first off the thing literally weighs a ton or should i say a quarter of a ton it's over 265 kilos of uh, steel in this but it's also the the little subtle improvements that make make it you know what I think is one of the best leg press hack squat combinations going around. Probably the, the most notable up upgrade that I thought when I jumped on was the new roller system. Now this roller system is also used on their CLP 700 compact leg press. It's a definite upgrade from the nylon bearing driven rollers they used before. There are a total of eight rollers each with double pressure bearings which makes the movement silky smooth. In addition to that, the guide rails are manufactured out of 40 millimeter thick solid steel, so it works just as good under the heaviest loads. Moving on to the redesigned hack squat footplate, it features more length and girth as a footprint has been extended to 70 centimeters by 60 centimeters, giving you ample room to spread your legs. And if you want to feel a bit of a stretch, Simply flip the bottom part of the foot plate up and you'll have a standing calf raise station which allows you to go deep as your heart desires. Not a fan of the strength curve? Not a problem. The ATX engineers built in resistance band pegs which not only rotate but also come with stoppers so there's no need to worry about your rubber tearing or slipping off. The resistant band attached to the built-in holder which sits right above the weight plates. Um, sometimes with these um, leg press hack squat combinations, changing from hack squat to leg press can be, you know, a bit difficult. But here you go, I'll uh, have a crack and do it one handed. Now this is a really handy feature. The spring-loaded pin clicks into place and that's about it for the setup. It is also worth mentioning that the weight does not rest on the pin like on the older model. Once you apply pressure to the plate, it pushes against the tube below. This gives you an unobstructed area to position your feet. ATX have included a toe press calf station just underneath the main leg press plate. It has been angled so you could get a comfortable workout without worrying about your feet slipping off. Next up is the backrest adjustment pad. Simply grip the shaft and slot it into the four available positions. You can also see the separate support grips which rest right next to the locking mechanisms for the carriage. The backrest pad itself has been widened and extends well past the bottom foot plate to accommodate the taller users. There are a total of six holes for the safety adjustment stopper so you can choose how deep you want to go. And you can go deep as the guide rails extend pretty much all the way to the seat. But I think the best feature and the most innovative um, would have to be the resistance band set up for the sled. Now one disadvantage of the old model was the fact that the sled or the carriage was heavy. So when you're doing hack squats, you know, some people like uh, beginners, they'd struggle uh, to, to even move the, the, the carriage without any weight. So on this model, the carriage is even heavier. So ATX has come up with this ingenious uh, resistance band set up where you can put your band on and it'll take the load of the carriage and there's some you know great video that I'll share with my, my daughter training and yeah it's just makes life so much easier and and for a personal trainer if you've got someone that's injured um, or you know doing rehab work you can still do ha hack squats 
So I think that's a, a really, really big benefit. So, yeah, all in all, th this machine is, uh, I, I, I can't say how much, um, you know, I'm, impre I'm impressed by it. Um, I've been training now on it for three weeks and, yeah, it's, it's very smooth, um, very quiet. Uh, it's, yeah, for someone like a, a personal trainer uh, that wants a really good quality leg press, you, you, you couldn't go past this. I mean, the downside is the size, it's big, but any quality leg press that's going to handle weight is going to have to be a fair size. So if there's any other machines that you'd like me to do a review on, just drop us a line and we'll, uh, we'll do those for you.